Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about something called arithmetic sequences. Okay, so during this unit study, you're going to learn there's different types of sequences. Okay, and this is the first major type. Okay, so what exactly is arithmetic sequence? Uh, basically, take a look at these numbers here. All right, so it's 3, 7, 11, 15, and 19. Do you see the pattern here? What, what's going on? Like, if, if I can you predict what this next number is going to be? Well, these numbers are increasing by four, right? So plus four, and then from seven to 11 is plus four, and then from 11 to 15 is plus four, and then from 15 to 19 is plus four. And then, so based on that, we have a, a, a consistent rule, right? So the next number is gonna be 19 plus four is gonna be 23. And if I add four to that, we get 27. If I add four to that, we get 31. So the fact that these numbers are increasing by a constant rate of plus four, okay, that's a characteristic of arithmetic sequences, okay? So let's write that down in here. So basically, one key thing you did know, all right, is the difference between one term and the next is a constant. All right, so the difference between one term and the next is a constant. So in this case, our constant is a four. Now, these fours, right, that is also called the common difference, okay? So anytime you see the, the lowercase d, right, that stands for common difference. So this time the common difference is a four. Now for this one, we have eight, six, four, two, and zero, all right? So do you see the, the pattern here? All right, each one of these is declining by two. All right, so minus two, minus two, minus two, and minus two. So the next number in the pattern is, okay, a negative two, right? If I, if I take away two more from that, we get negative four. If I take away two more from that, we get negative six, okay? So the common difference for this one is plus negative two. And there it is, all right? So remember, a lowercase d stands for common difference. All right, all right, so if you turn the page, let's look at another major characteristic of, of arithmetic sequences, okay? So here I've actually plotted some points of, of, of a arithmetic uh, sequence, okay? And if you notice, it makes a line, okay? So arithmetic sequences are linear. All right, that's a major characteristic of arithmetic sequences. All right. So now that you understand about arithmetic sequences, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problems now. And then when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right. Good luck. All right. Welcome back. Let's say you did with these arithmetic sequence problems. Okay. So for these, you have to determine the missing terms of each arithmetic sequence, okay? So let's first figure out the common difference of the sequence, okay? So it appears that these are increasing by, it looks like 15, because one plus 15 gives you 16, and then 16 plus 15 gives you 31, and then 31 plus 15 gives you 46, and so on. So our common difference is gonna be 15. So 46 plus 15 gives you 61. And then 61 plus 15 gives you 76. And then 76 plus 15 gives you 91. Now, anytime that you see these dots, it means it goes on forever, okay? So it doesn't end, okay? Some sequences will, will stop, um, but this means it goes on and on and on. Let's look at the second problem. Here, 
Um, hmm. It looks like the common difference is going to be plus 10, right? Because when you go from negative 10 to 0, that's a plus 10. And from 0 to 10 is a plus 10. And then from 10 to 20 is also a plus 10. All right, so our common difference for this one is going to be plus 10. So let me fill in these first. So that'll be 20 and then 30 and 40 and 50. And then I can go backwards here. So I'm going to take away 10. So that'll be negative 20, negative 30, and negative 40. All right, how'd you do?